check your unlock status current status approve approve guys hello guys how you doing this is su amigo alex and today i'm gonna try to unlock these two iphone 8 one of the iphones is 64 gigs and the other one 256 as you can see here they are both sim lock this device might be restricted to the original carrier and or have certain capabilities limited contact your provider for more info just for you to see we're gonna put a sim card from another carrier so you can see that sim not supported right we're gonna use google fi and let's see what happened with google fi right let's put it here activation require it may take a few minutes to activate your iphone these iphones are connected to wi-fi so right now they are sim not supported try again and sim not supported all right so we have to take it out and let's try it also on the 256 not a problem to be honest it's not a problem yeah it still works activation required software update complete it may take a few minutes to activate your iphone and sim not supported sim not supported we just confirmed that both iphones are locked i'm gonna try to unlock the 64 gigs first the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to settings we're gonna copy the imei then we're gonna open a browser and we're gonna search for at&t unlock okay device unlock request and it says start an unlock request you must have zero balance on your device installment plan to request an unlock okay i'm going to click start an unlock request do you have a mobile number from at&t no imei number i'm going to click click and hold and i'm going to paste immediately the at&t portal recognizes the device as the iphone 8 a1905 click here and click on next i'm gonna put my name last name on the mobile number don't even click on there right just put your email so me alex5 and repeat it here right and we're gonna click submit thanks we got your request let's go to gmail and sign in to our email so right now it's 2 47 p.m i got an email from at t at 2 46 p.m so one minute ago all right you need to open this and here it says confirm your device unlock request within 24 hours you need to click here confirm your request click there and it says thanks for confirming so that's the first step we just confirm our request now we need to go back to the email and i want you to click on check the status and it says current status pending okay so we have to wait like a couple of minutes remember guys all of this process is done by the server it's automatically what happened is at&t sent a request to apple apple approved or denial the request and then at&t let you know but this is not done by a human so click check the status it shouldn't take more than five minutes you know boom approve check your unlock status current status approve approve guys okay so this is approved now let's try this guys let's try this we're going to do the same thing settings copy the imei open the browser search for at&t unlock device unlock request and i'm gonna start an unlock request do you have a mobile number from at&t no imei click and hold and paste the portal recognized the phone as the iPhone 8 A1905. Click on I read the legal info. Click on next. Here you're gonna put your name, mobile number, don't even click on it. Okay, email address, so amigo Alex4. Let's just change it for a little bit, you know. Just in case, you know, guys. And submit. Thanks, we got your request. What we need to do now is we need to sign in to our Gmail. Let's sign in to our Gmail account. I hate when this happen, guys. Look, boom, boom, boom. It doesn't allow me to go down. On Safari, we're gonna change the this single tap on top. That helps? No, it didn't help. So let me close it and open it again. Okay, finally, guys. We are 2:53 p.m. and I got the email at 2:51 p.m. You should get the email confirmation right away, guys. The only thing you need to click is confirm your request. So click on that. Thanks for confirming. We're gonna go back to the email and we're gonna click check the status. It's gonna say current status pending. They're taking an extra time to see if this iPhone qualifies for the free unlock. 
You need to wait a couple of minutes. Once you feel ready, click on check the status again. Check the status. Deny. Current status deny. We can unlock your device because there is an unpay balance linked to it. You can submit a new request after the balance is paying full. So what should we do here, guys? We can wait. I mean, there's an unpay balance, so chances are nobody's going to pay that. This iPhone is going to be locked for a long time. What you can do is you can use this iPhone with AT&T, Cricket, H2O, and any other MVNO that is using the AT&T towers, okay? 